Alrighty, Geminis, so this is going to be your reading for October 15th through the 22nd. Thank you guys so much for joining me. This is going to be general. It will not resonate with every Gemini out there. That's why I do advise that you do check out your other placements if you do not have it in Gemini, okay? Um, if you're interested in getting your own personal reading, please feel free to hit me up. All of my information for booking and also if you want to join my tarot class, which will actually be starting on October 19th. Today I am filming it this on October 5th, so you have a little bit of time to sign up. If you're interested in signing up, guys, definitely email me. Um, ask any sort of questions that you have through my email, not through the comments. I prefer to do it through email because with the comments, I don't really see all of them, okay? But all the information for that is going to be listed below. Also, if you'd like to get 10 free questions for this month, sign up for my Patreon. The membership, if you sign up for the 2222 membership, you get 10 free questions for this month. So definitely take advantage of that. I don't have any sort of deals like that on my channel for sale like for personal readings so if you're interested in checking out that exclusive deal that i have for my lovely patreon members that would definitely be appreciated so everything will be in the description box and let's see what's going on with you gems okay what's going on with my sun moon rising and venus <coughs> excuse me my sun moon rising and venus gemini's for october 15th through the 22nd october 15th through the 22nd for my sun, moon, rising, and Venus, Geminis. Okay, Geminis. So I am seeing that you guys need to make sure that you guys are being grateful for some changes that are coming in, okay? Um, I feel like you guys are closing one chapter of your life out and you guys are entering a new phase um a lot of blocks are gonna start to lift this week for some of you guys um anything that was stopping you from moving forward with whatever creative endeavor whatever whatever you had going on i feel like it's starting to finally lift for you okay um whatever issues were blocking you from moving forward um, I'm also seeing that you also need to take some time to block out distractions that may be coming in at the moment. Sorry, guys. I'm thirsty. <laughs> but you need to block out any distractions or any people who may be distracting you from your mission, okay? You also need to make sure that you are voicing your opinion and you are vocalizing how you feel, um, whether that's like on the internet, if you have some very interesting topics that you want to talk about, um, or just explaining what you mean to people around you because they may be very confused, okay? Some people around you are confused, but I feel like you do need to join some sort of group of like-minded people so the message gets out better, if that makes sense, okay? So let's see what other messages I have for you guys. What's going on with my Geminis for October 15th through the 22nd? October 15th through the 22nd for my sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Geminis. What's going on with them? October 15th through the 22nd. Ooh. Your cards are really flipping today, Geminis. Y'all really need this message. So let's do this. So let's see what other messages we have. So I am seeing that you guys need to also make sure that you're brushing up on any knowledge of anything that you're like trying to pursue. Again, if you're a student, you need to make sure that you're actually studying, okay? If you're not a student and you're somebody who's just trying to bring some new ideas or some new concepts into fruition, you need to make sure that you're brushing up on your knowledge about whatever you're trying to do first, okay? Um... I also feel as if you guys are receiving a lot of insight at night through your dreams. So take an account of that. Get you a dream journal. Okay. I would show you guys my journal right now. Hold on. I will. Y'all going to keep seeing this journal. Get you a dream journal and you need to write down whatever comes in. Okay. I'm also seeing that you're going to have to reevaluate some friendships around you. Um... 
And you may also need to listen to some people around you, like some friends who may be trying to give you some advice. This is for some people. Um, your friends may be wanting to share some insight on some things. You may need to listen, especially when it comes to a love relationship for some of you guys. Yeah, because some of you guys are so trapped up in... <laughs> this is what I heard. Some of y'all are so trapped up in a love situation or like a love thing that you don't even... You're like in your own world while everybody else, like your friends, are just focusing on what they have going on. Aragon, please. I'm going to um, so I'm seeing that there is a new love situation coming in, guys. Like there is a new love situation. And I am seeing that it's really got you guys like turned upside down when it comes to like your friendships. It may be. Some of y'all are just so in love that, like, you just can't stop thinking about your partner even when you're around your friends. Uh, for others of you, this could be a situation where there could be troubles and you can't stop thinking about this person while you're around your friends, okay? But um, you do need to make sure that you're listening to your higher self if you are receiving messages. I feel like some prayers are going to be answered this week. Um, I feel like you do need to set those intentions or actually make uh, sure that you're praying or, you know asking the universe for whatever you need so that you can actually receive it okay so let's see what affirmations i have for you guys what are some affirmations i can pass on to my gemini's for october 15th through the 22nd october 15th through the 22nd for my sun moon rising and venus gemini's sun moon rising and venus gemini's for october 15th through the 22nd october 15th through the 22nd please Ooh. okay so two cards came out so I got this card for Aries. It says, I put my best self forward, okay? So yes. So this says, you have the power to do incredible things, so why not take advantage of that? Put your best self forward and step into your greatness. Let the universe witness the wonderful things you have to offer, okay? So you need to make sure that you guys, every day when you wake up, that you guys are putting on your best self, making sure that you guys are trying to evolve who you were from yesterday to a better version of yourself today, okay? Um, and what I'm seeing for this card, I have my chakras are lit, okay, lit the fuck up, okay, I like that. This says, allow, <laughs> allow there to be a harmonious flow of energy through your body by maintaining balanced chakras. It says, utilize meditation, yoga, energy healing, and aromatherapy to assist in restoring balance from within, okay? Make sure that you guys are not being all tied up in situations to where you can't even think or, you know, get your own peace of mind or balancing out your energies is kind of hard for you right now because you may be all tied up in some things. But make sure that that's not messing you up, okay? So let's go ahead and see what's going on with your love lives, Geminis, my gem gems. What's going on with my sun, moon, rising, and Venus, Geminis love lives for October 15th through the 22nd. October 15th through the 22nd for my sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Gemini's, what's going on with their love lives for that week? What's going on? And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do one card for the Taken and one card for the single Gemini's. Give me one card for the Taken Gemini's for October 15th through the 22nd. One card for the Taken ones. And then give me one card for the single Gemini's. Single Gemini's. Ooh, okay. Okay, so let's see what this is talking about. So both of you guys are really, no matter what type of Gemini you are, I am saying that there's going to be a lot of heart-to-heart -heart conversations this week. If there isn't any at the moment, I feel as if um, you're going to have to actually face up and have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation, especially if you don't want to hear what somebody has to say. I heard that somebody feels like they don't want to hear what the other person has to say, okay? But um, for my taken Geminis, I have expressed your love. So yeah, that makes total sense. You may be dealing with a lover who may be a little cold. Geminis, you may be a little cold, okay? Clarifying that, I do have the codependency energy. So somebody here is a little codependent, Okay, somebody could be very emotional and the other person's not. Like somebody's very like, look, I don't have time to be all emotional. And then the other person is. Okay, for my Geminis who are single, I have new love. So there's a new bae. There is a new bae. Um, there's definitely somebody new. 
and you're gonna get to know this person and this person is really gonna spur spur is definitely probably gonna come out of the spur of the moment probably so look out for that so let's see what's going on let's do a whole spread what's going on with my gemini sun moon rising and venus gemini for october 15th through the 22nd sun moon rising and venus gemini for october 15th through the 22nd october 15th through the 22nd so you guys could kind of see what's going on here on the table so whenever the cards do flip out you guys would be able to see what's actually going on here a little bit sun moon rising and venus gemini for october 15th through the 22nd october 15th through the 22nd for my sun moon rising and venus gemini's Okay, so hold on. I'm not going to take all these. I'm actually not going to take all of these. Okay, so what is this? So we have the King of Pentacles. So some of you guys are dealing with an earth sign. Others of you, you're really taking time to nurture your finances. Some of you guys are really trying to aim for stability when it comes to a business idea. Some of you guys are actually like reaching some sort of success here or trying to manifest it, okay? Um, some of you guys are trying to manifest a stable commitment also. Something tangible, okay? So let's see what's going on. Let's see. Okay, bottom of the deck, we do have the Queen of Cups. So we have the Queen of Cups, the Four of Chalices, and the Sun card. So you may be dealing with a water sign, like I said, <laughs> with the Romance Angel cards. I am seeing a situation where somebody is very much in their feelings, um, trying to confront their emotions, very much into their emotions, um, dwelling on their emotions, and very like dissatisfied at the same time. This could be you guys, or this could be a water sign that you're dealing with, or maybe a Leo. But I feel as if somebody's like in this mood of like either not feeling fulfilled with what they have, like feeling this energy of dis dissatisfaction, like with what they're being offered or unable to really see what the universe is trying to put out for them due to like their disappointments with whatever was presented before um, or just their discomfort with the offers, whatever it may be. I'm just seeing... That somebody is trying to get happiness, trying to move forward towards a new beginning, and they're waiting for some changes to happen here. This definitely looks like you guys, okay? Um, last reading, you guys were crying in the grocery store, so I really hope that you guys are not doing that this week, okay? I saw a couple comments. We not doing that. All right. I love you guys. Anyways, but I have you guys as the three of pentacles coming into this week. So some of you guys are dealing with a third party situation here. Some of you guys just can't even be bothered. That's what I heard. I can't be bothered right now. I got too much stuff going on. I have to work on this. I got to work on that. I have this business I'm trying to build. I have this. And like, I feel as if you guys are just scared of continuously going out there and like continuously dealing with the same thing um and I feel like it's causing a lot of confusion with that because you don't really know what to do okay um yeah when it comes to that um when or not when um in the past I do have the nine of swords so clarifying the nine of swords I do have the king of wands so you guys are really in your head about a fire sign here for others of you you're really in your head about a creative pursuit that you were into um you guys really wanted to be on top of things creatively and you wanted to really get out there and some of you guys were very anxious about like accomplishing something. Some of you guys really wanted to accomplish something and it was this waiting energy for some things to come into fruition. But for others of you, it's just this anxiety about a fire sign, okay? Anxiety, you was up late at night thinking about this person and this person was just thinking about their creative pursuits, okay? If you were dealing with a fire sign, this person was focusing on their success. I feel like they were really getting some sort of financial success, okay? What I'm seeing for the guidance, I do have the four of wands clarified by the nine of wands. So I feel like if you guys want some sort of stability with anything, like your foundation for some of you guys, like a family situation, if you guys want 
um, stability within a relationship. You guys got to stop letting whatever happened to you in the past kind of block you off from stepping out there, okay? Because you may be hiding behind the stick while you're trying to go out there. And there may be a new opportunity that could present itself, but you, like, you need to turn your back first and wait on some changes, okay? Or look towards the future. What I'm seeing for the focus and reasons for the week of October 15th through the 22nd, I do have the two of pentacles clarified by the five of cups. So I am seeing here that there is a lot of highs and lows going on in your situation right now, financially for some of you guys, for others of you emotionally, um, some of you guys have to figure out what you're going to do as far as like who you're going to pursue i feel like you guys are really just upset about some things that took place though that you're unable to really see these new opportunities behind you and there's a lot of highs and lows with your emotions i just feel like it's something with your emotions more than anything and i feel like you guys are just waiting for things to happen or you guys have been just looking at your situation waiting for some shifts but you do need to use your intuition with this because i feel like there is some things that are unknown to you and you do need to make sure that you are are being hopeful for the future okay um what i'm seeing for the potential outcome i do have the king of swords clarified by the nine of wands so you need to make sure that you guys are standing in your power being analytical and being truthful with yourself especially when it comes to some things that you really want to manifest okay um you guys are really just and this energy of waiting, like you can wait all day, but it's not going to happen if you keep waiting. You have to actually go out there and get it. OK. Um, but you need to make sure that you that you're asking the right questions and that you're doing the research. OK, so let's see what's going on with the cross watcher. What's going on with my Gemini's cross watcher partner person that they're dealing with for October 15th through the 22nd. Um, if you guys want to check out the extended version of this reading, guys, like I said, it will be posted on Patreon. If you need a reading, definitely hit me up also. And if you want to join the tarot class also, uh, email me. Um, so let's see what's, ooh, geez. So you guys could be dealing with an Aries, a Taurus, whoever it may be, somebody who's trying to stay structured, somebody who may be very structured, uh, maybe very like masculine if it is a female this person may be very like um boss like i heard boss like okay um this person may be focused on many creative endeavors okay if it's not creative endeavors this person is definitely doing their own thing okay i feel like this person would slowly come towards you but at the same time like they want to look towards the future because with this situation, there may have been just a lot of things that they built up as like their reasons for why they won't go back. That's what I heard. OK, yeah, they're not opening up. Somebody's not opening up. And I feel like they are really abundant right now. <laughs> they're really abundant. Like the coin is really popping and somebody has multiple options. OK, um, yeah. And somebody from their past is really on their head like it's affecting their emotions okay but they're focused on their success they really are avoiding this situation and a commitment they don't really want a situation to be imbalanced okay so that's what i'm seeing if you guys want to see the extended spread join my patreon and i will see you guys over there bye gemini's